morning. This is Andrew Monk here at Witcher Silk Mill. This morning we're going to have a look at the Iolite Magnificent Mobile Microscope and a few of the features about the microscope that are a little bit different from your conventional microscope. Many people when they first get this microscope they open it up and see how small it is and then they say hey wait where are the knobs? There's no focus knob and there's no XY stage. We've left these off in order to make sure we can get the price right down and in order to make it simple and compact so it fits in your pocket. But that still leaves the question of how do I get an image on the magnificent mo mobile microscope? Let's have a look. This microscope is already coupled to the iPad so now I have to just find a slide. So here's my slide and that is going to go on the uh, stage of the microscope. The microscope has a rectangle drawn on the stage so that it's very easy to uh, tell where the slide where you should start. So that's your starting point. We then just simply unfold the mast just by hand like this and immediately you can see on the screen we have an image. It's not in focus but it is an image. So now I'm going to start to move the head. Now it's really important that your hand is in this position on the head of the microscope. I'm just pushing it very gently down using my fingers and it's important that you're touching the mast, you're only using one hand and you're touching the uh, head of the microscope just next to the mast. Don't do this. You won't be able to focus it if you try and focus it at that end. So next to the mast like this and we're moving down towards the slide and this is a two millimeter microscope so we're looking for a working distance here of about 2.5 millimeters and on the one millimeter microscope that would be one millimeter. So now I'm just coming close to where I should be able to get an image on the iPad and just by moving like that we've got something coming into focus. We can't see what it is yet because um, it, the slide's in the wrong position. But you can see, if you look here, that the image is pretty well in focus. And I've done that just by moving my hand on the microscope head. So now we're going to find the correct bit of the slide that we need. So the problem here is if I put my fingers on the slide like this, it's zooming around all over the place and I'm not going to be able to get a good image because it's too, the slide's made of glass and the stage is made of glass and it's too slippy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to put my fingers, two index fingers, two hands, one on either end of the microscope and I'm going to slide them in till they contact the slide. So now my fingers are touching both the end of the slide and the microscope. So now I've got real control and actually it's very easy to move around as you would do uh, with an XY stage. So we can move, we can see the, the knee of this fly leg. Now the other thing you can see is that it's not quite in focus. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to use my hand again in the same position on the head just to get the focus uh, absolutely spot on and you can see there it's getting nice and crisp using the focusing this is just with my hand on the microscope with the focusing now if you now you're nearly nearly there now so what we can do is we can now use the fine focus on the screen of the iPad and that will now get the focus to exactly where you want it so by using those two techniques the hand on the microscope and the finger on the iPad screen you can get the perfect focus and now we can manipulate the slide using my two fingers touching the stage and the end of the slide I can go right down and look for the toe of the fly there we go and of course because the toe is a little bit further away I'm going to have to adjust the focus again so that's it it's really very simple to focus the eye light microscope and to position the slide correctly if you know where to start and I hope this video has been useful. Thank you for watching.